Hello viewers, today's question we want to obtain the value or the values of x that can satisfy this given exponential equation. I'm going to walk you through the process of obtaining the value one step at a time. So if you find value at the end of the day, please consider subscribing. So with that being said, let us dive into this question right now. Alright, we have x to the x is equal to x to the power 2 and we want to figure out the value of x in this exponential equation. The first thing I want to do is to take the natural logarithm of both sides. Now, if I take the natural logarithm of here, I will have x to the x. Then I'll take the natural logarithm of this guy, I will have x to the 2. Now, remember one of the laws of logarithm that says if I have log a to the power n, because of this logarithm, this guy is going to fall behind. So I'll have it as a n log a. Okay? So that is one law I want you to put in mind. Now, if I apply this law right here, this guy is in power, it's going to fall behind, and this guy also is going to fall behind the logarithm. So I'll have it to be x lean x, then it's equal to 2 lean x. Okay? Now you want to bring all this guy to this side of this equation. So you have x lean x minus 2 lean x equal to 0. Now let us take off these guys from here. Alright, now you can see that lean x and lean x is a common factor here. So I can easily factor out lean x. So I have lean x into x minus 2 is equal to 0. Because as you to see, lean x times s is going to give me x lean x. And lean x times 2 is going to give me 2 lean x. So we just factored out lean x. Alright, now you can see that we have the product of two guys equal to 0. It means that we're going to equate each of these factors to zero, right? So I'm going to equate this guy to zero. So I have lean x is equal to zero, or I will equate x minus two is equal to zero. I hope it's clear, right? Okay. Now let's quickly resolve this guy. This guy is a little bit easy, so let's resolve this guy. So from here you can see that x is equal to what? Positive two, because you take negative two to the other side of the equation, and it becomes a positive two. Now for this guy. I want you to remember that lean, um, lean x can also be written as the logarithm of x to the base e, okay? That is what the natural logarithm of x is all about, just a base to e, a logarithm to a base e, right? So this guy is going to be written as log x to base e is equal to zero. This guy and this guy are the same, okay? Now, we want to transform this logarithmic equation to an exponential equation, then we have e we take 0 as its power, so we have e to the power of 0 equal to the argument which is what? x, right? Mm -hmm. Just like taking e we take this guy as its power, then you equate it to the argument of the logarithm or to the input of the logarithm you have these guys, right? Now you can also see x is equal to exponent 0 and of course it is very clear that exponent 0 is nothing but 1. So the value of x that will satisfy the given equation are uh, 1 and 2. Okay viewers, this is the end of the solution. Please, if you find value, please consider subscribing. This is one way to support this channel. I want to see you in the next tutorial. God bless you. Bye.